The Tampa Bay Buccaneers face the Kansas City Chiefs in Super Bowl 55 this Sunday. The Chiefs were just in the big game last year and they won, but it's been 18 years since the Buccaneers were there. Ahead of Super Bowl 55, Chase Beefelt looks back at Super Bowl 37 with Idaho native and former Buccaneers offensive line coach Michael Christensen. What was it like being a part of a Super Bowl winning team? Well, it was pretty surreal, that's for sure. I mean, we didn't. Uh... I mean, I, I didn't really expect it to happen. It was my first year in the NFL and uh, after coaching at college for a number of years and, and uh, having that, that kind of opportunity. Uh, when they, when they, there's an old adage that defense wins championships and that was definitely the case for us. But uh, it was a whirlwind. That was actually the year that uh, the Bucks didn't have a bye week. Uh, so we went right from the NFC Championship game to the Super Bowl, which made it even more surreal. What's your fondest memory of being a part of that franchise? The win at the end of the game. There's a picture of uh, all the Bucks standing at the podium and they're, they're shooting it from the podium. And, and it's kind of like playing Where's Waldo. You can just find everybody that's in there. But that was pretty amazing. Giving my family a big hug after the game and realizing that as a coach, you, you, that's the pinnacle of, of what you're trying to get to. And, uh, and we just succeeded and we just did it. You know, holding the Vince Lombardi trophy, you just don't realize I mean, it's just it's just a big hunk of silver, right? But man, I, the, just the prestige and the honor, and and uh, having been there, and and the cool part is, you, you know, it's coaches, and and uh, your name is etched on the trophy along with the ownership, and so it's sitting in Canton, Ohio, and and that's pretty cool. So whenever I see that thing, it it gives me goosebumps, a little bit of chills. It's kind of a spectacle in NFL history. Uh, head coach John Gruden just coming in like that, and at that age, and winning a Super Bowl. What was it like? working with him he's a serious guy and uh, he's a grinder and he likes to work and I tell everybody this story all the time it's pretty funny but the first day we got there as a staff I showed up at six o'clock in the morning I beat everybody else except for him uh, and he was in my office waiting for me to get there and asking me how come I wasn't there at 4 30 when he was there so I learned real quick that you know I, I needed to be around him as much as possible and learn as much football as, as I could and and he's just a great offensive mind. What is the one thing that still sticks out to you about the, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers to this day? Well, the defense, right? I mean, we, we did a great job. There's an old adage, you're better to be lucky than good. And we had a phenomenal defense that stayed healthy with Derek Brooks and Warren Sapp and Simeon Rice, guys like that on the defense that, I mean, when you're plus 13 in the turnover margin, you're going to have success and uh, that, that was it for us. What's the spectacle of, of this year's Super Bowl in, in your eyes? As a former Buck and, and uh, a member of that 2002-2003 Super Bowl, I'm a little jealous. Uh, it's the first team in NFL history to actually play a Super Bowl in their home stadium, and, and uh, man, the fans of Tampa are great. I know you're not going to have an unbiased answer here, but what are you, what are you hoping to come from this Super Bowl? For me, I mean, I'm going to root for the Bucks, but in the end, it, it, I just hope for a good game. You're talking about a guy who's 43 years old and Tom Brady and leading another team to a, to a Super Bowl and a chance to win it. Uh, I, don't, I can't even count as high as he's, many as he's won. And then you got the young upstart. And so for me, the big storyline in this game is going to be these two quarterbacks, how they, how they play against each other and uh, compete against each other and, and who rises to the top. Well, thanks for talking to me, Mike. I really appreciate it. You bet, Chase. Thanks for your time. Go Bucks. Well, Mike also helped coach the San Francisco 49ers to Super Bowl 47 as a running backs coach in 2013. He's been retired from the game for eight years now and is loving life here living in the Treasure Valley, but says he does get the occasional call for coaching jobs and he says he might just take one soon. What people don't know, maybe don't remember, is that he's a realtor here in Boise mm -hmm. and I recently featured him as a sevens hero because he helped a veteran get a loan and get into a house in Nampa, which was just incredible. He yeah. donated all of his fees and really a special fundraising effort for that veteran who now has a home. He is yeah. in his 90s, so Mike did such a great job for that veteran. The giving man that he yeah. is. I wonder if he'd give me his Super Bowl ring. I don't think so. Uh -uh. I think Mike's going to hold on to that. <laughs> well, 